10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have liftoff. is nominal. T plus 31 seconds into the mission and Electron is airborne after our 26th launch from LC-1. We have a great view of that Electron leaving the pad as Electron powers its way to space. We are now at three or four kilometres in altitude and very soon Electron will reach max Q. This is what's known as the point in the mission when the aerodynamic forces against the rocket are at their peak and cause the most amount of stress Electron will experience on its ascent. The call that we've cleared max Q should come from mission control shortly. Vehicle has cleared max Q. Having cleared max Q, Electron's trajectory remains on track and its propulsion is looking nominal as the mission continues to orbit. Soon we'll be coming up to the separation of the rocket stages that will signal the beginning of our Electron recovery attempt. First up will be MECO or main engine cutoff on Electron's first stage. This is, when the rocket's nine, this is when the rocket's nine Rutherford engines on its first stage power down, and then the rocket will drift for just a moment before the first and second stage separate. The second stage's engine should then start up and power the mission onto orbit, while Electron's booster begins its journey back toward the capture zone here on Earth. As it makes its way home, we'll stay with that live camera feed for as long as we can. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's wait for the call-out of those first three events. Fifteen seconds to Miko. Miko confirmed. Stage separation successful. Stage to ignition confirmed. And here we go, it is happening. Electron has successfully completed MECO, stage separation and second stage engine start. Our Electron recovery attempt is now officially in motion and we are off to a fantastic start with this mission. As the mission continues for our customers, the fairing protecting their satellites will soon separate and fall away in preparation of payload deployment. We'll wait to see that on our screens. Oh, and there it goes. We had that visual and audio confirmation we were after of the fairing successfully deploying. A check of stage two speed and altitude tells us the mission is continuing nominally, currently at more than 125 kilometers above Earth and reaching speeds of more than 8,000 kilometers per hour. Onward to orbit. Stage two propulsion is nominal. Guidance is nominal. When the booster's engines shut down, the stage continued to coast to apogee. Now, during that coast, the reaction control thrusters on the stage will have moved Electron into position to better help it survive its hot and fast travel on the way back to Earth. Once we hear the call that the first stage has reached apogee, we know that what goes up must then come back down and head toward the capture zone where our recovery helicopter is waiting for it.
Electron second holding nominal. Electron second stage engine, as you heard there, is continuing nominally and firing hot as the mission continues to orbit. All payloads on the stage remain healthy and ready for release to their 520 kilometer circular orbit. The next milestones to watch out for will be the deployment of the first chute on the Electron booster and the swap of the batteries powering the Stage 2 Rutherford engine. Now, both events should occur within seconds of each other and be confirmed across Mission Control comms, so we'll make sure to listen out for those. Meanwhile, our recovery helicopter is ready and waiting out over the Pacific Ocean for that drogue chute on the Stage 1 to deploy, knowing that will indicate the main chute deployment and helicopter catch attempt will be only minutes away. Taking a look at the telemetry, Electron second stage continues on its journey to orbit at a speed of over 11,000 kilometres an hour and an altitude of more than 220 kilometres. Meanwhile, Electron's first stage is on the correct angle of attack to make its way through the wall, as you can see on your left there. Now, that wall is the roughest part of the atmosphere, but thanks to the RCS uh, thrusters we mentioned earlier, the stage one booster is on a very smooth descent. We are coming up to the next gate though for Electron's second stage to clear, the battery hot swap for its Rutherford engine. This engine is the world's first to use the electric pump feed cycle for orbital space travel. To keep the propellant pump system going all the way to orbit, we swap out the batteries as they are drained with a new set to keep the system running. We're likely to catch the glint of sunlight reflecting off the discarded battery packs as they fall away. So keep your eyes on your screen for that and your ears open for the call from Mission Control to confirm. Guidance is nominal. Hot swap successful. Battery mm -hmm. does and confirm. Coming up on drug deploy. Stage two propulsion holding nominal. Guidance is nominal. Drug deployed. Battery hot swap is confirmed, and so too, you heard it there, the deployment of the drogue chute on Electron's first stage. The second stage is continuing nominally on its mission for our customers. You can see it on your screen there. And for recovery, we are around 30 seconds or so away from the main parachute being released. This action should really slow down the booster's travel to a slow enough speed for our recovery helicopter to safely move in and attempt to capture it. Confirmed good shoot. Fantastic news there from Mission Control. We have just had confirmation that the main parachute on stage one was successfully deployed and the S-92 helicopter can prepare to capture Electron. We'll be bringing you updates as soon as we have them, but very soon we are also expecting Seco on the final stage separation of the kick stage. We'll wait for those calls, but stick with this view from the helicopter as long as we can. Entered burnout detect. Guidance is in terminal, 27 seconds remaining. 
It's a bit longer of a second stage burn than normal to get us to our 520 kilometre SSO orbit. Uh, on the left, you can see the helicopter moving into position, and on the right, we have Electron second stage travelling onto orbit. Seeker. Stage three separation confirmed. Normal transfer orbit achieved. You see on the screen there, the Rutherford engine on Electron stage two has successfully shut down and stage two and the kick stage will have cleanly separated. The kick stage will now enter what we call a coasting phase while it's in an elliptical orbit before its Curie engine ignites and propels it into its sun synchronous orbit where we will deploy the satellites. Now on the left of your screen you can see the views from that recovery helicopter. We have only a few minutes left in the capture window where that helicopter can safely recover Electron. Remember, catching a returning rocket stage mid-air is as, as it returns from space is as highly complex as it sounds and it demands extreme precision. So several critical milestones must align perfectly to ensure a successful capture. We are on track to do that, but we are prepared with an ocean vessel nearby. And we've just had confirmation as well that the parachute is in sight of the pilot on that chopper. Exciting stuff. Hopefully we'll see it on our screens there soon too. We are all waiting on the edge of our seats here at our facilities. If this catch is a success, it marks an enormous milestone in our recovery program. Let's hope we can see that parachute in the frame of the camera soon. We've got various members of our uh, recovery team stationed at the drop zone back on land, out on the recovery vessel for support. Here in MCC, they're in that crowd as you've seen in some of our shots. And of course, we have our pilot in the powerful Sikorsky S-92 helicopter in the sky over the Pacific, ensuring this is all going according to plan. Now you can see some of our recovery team members there. Uh, I don't think they could get any closer to that screen if they could. They are no doubt very anxious and waiting like we all are for this capture attempt to go ahead. It was only three years ago, can you believe it, that we announced the recovery and reusability program. And here we are today after five successful previous re-entries bringing us to this moment. What you can see on your screen is the line from the helicopter with the capture hook at the end of it. Uh, that pilot is moving into position to attempt that catch with the electron booster underneath the parachute. Hopefully we'll see that on our screen soon. Uh, but keep your fingers crossed for this attempt. Just very quickly while I can, I want to point you to the right side of the screen that shows that the kick stage is on its elliptical pass above the world and onward to orbit for our customers. And then of course again we're all keeping our eyes on the left that you can see the recovery helicopter in that zone uh, moving in for the catch attempt. Hopefully again that we see that soon.
I don't know about all of you viewing, but the longer I watched this line waiting for that heli the uh, parachute to come in. Oh, oh, there we go. We've got our first glimpse of it. Absolutely incredible stuff there. We have successfully caught that electron booster underneath the parachute. So that helicopter, confirming again, has hooked onto the drogue line and has captured electron. Just incredible. So now the helicopter will bring the stage to land where our engineers will analyse and determine if electron is suitable for reflight.